Cindy from Coquette Crochet. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this shell necklace. This one has the special gimmick that you can turn on and turn off the light inside the shell and make it very charming. And you can use it for cosplay purpose. And now, let's get started. Okay guys, this is a summary of the pattern. You can capture the screen for your personal use only. I use less yarn and also the cross embroidery thread which comprise of 12 small threads. Uh, I will split up the thread. We will use only one, one small thread, just like this. And then use it along with the lace yarn and the small thread together and then use 2.5 mm crochet hook for the first row make 3 chain and then for the second row make 1 chain and then turn and then make SC on the second stitch from the hook and then make another 2 SC after you finish the second row you will have 3 stitches Alright, and then next row, I will make one chain and then turn and then make HC. But from, from row 3 to the last row, we are going to work on back loop only. So you make HC on the back loop and then increase on back loop as well and then SC again in the back loop okay and you will see there will be the fringe coming out when you make SC on back loop okay for, for row 4 make one chain and then turn and then make SC increase and then make 2 SC and don't forget to work on back loop as well after you finish this row you will have 5 stitches Okay, if you can see, I keep working on back loop and you will see the fringe coming out like this. Okay, next row, make one chain and then turn, make two SC. And then increase. Increase. And then to SC again. After you finish this row, you will have 8 stitches. Uh, don't forget to work on back loop as well. Alright, and now you can continue your work until you reach row 38. And if you run out of the small golden thread, you can always connect the test just like this. Okay, and then you can continue working on it. Alright, continue working until you reach row 38 like this. For row 38, we we are not going to increase anymore. Just keep working. You will have 33 stitches when you finish it. And then for the last row, row 39, you will need to change it into two golden cross street thread. Make one chain. And then turn and then make 33 single crochet make 33 SC you don't need to work on back loop anymore because it is not necessary just work it normally all right after you finish this so you still have 33 stitches and you can finally fasten off the work Alright, after that you will get the triangle shape and then for this triangle half and you will sew uh, both sides together like this. When you sew it, try to use the golden thread because, because it is very neat to do so and it can completely hide itself from being noticed. Alright, just use the golden cross thread to sew both sides together all right keep sewing it until you reach the end 
up his tail. Okay, when you finish, you will get this shape of the shell and then next part, you will need to use the fatty light to insert it inside so I use only one meter fatty light with the box shape monitor because you can insert that box into this shell Okay, first of all, insert the fatty light inside the shell Try to use the crochet hook in order to take the, the, the light wire to the end of this shell so for the narrow part you need to use this uh, crochet hook to get it into the, the narrow part of this shell keep inserting the fatty light inside okay and then before before inserting everything, just insert, uh, just fill in the polyester fiber inside the work like this. Okay, make sure the light look in line from inside to outside, and then just insert the box like this. So make sure that the switch turn on and turn off switch should be. This uh, should be at this side as well. Okay, and then now we are going to do the cost pad. For the cost pad, only only use uh, less yarn. Start off with magic wing egg sc. So we basically make single crochet on the magic wing. Okay. Okay, and then after you finish uh, making egg SC, you will need to pull the yarn to fasten the loop and you will get the shape of small circle. And then for the second row to the fifth row, just follow the code I wrote on the screen. And when you finish it, you will have the total of 30 stitches and you will get the oval shape of this one so the cross pad you will put it on top of the switch make sure that the turn on and off switch will be in this side okay before you can you can sew to close the hole using this cross patch all right you will get something like this after you sew it Make sure you can turn on the light from the top of the cross pad like this. Okay, and then uh, for the golden fringe, we will need to make the golden fringe uh, once every other row. So just make one every other row. We will use the front row of the fringe and slip stitch the corset thread, only one corset thread using 1.25 mm crochet hook and when we make it we will uh, slip stitch the thread in then make one chain 
and then make a slip stitch on the the next stitch okay make a slip stitch on the next stitch like this and then keep making one chain making one chain and then slip stitch on the next stitch repeating this step around the row just keep repeating this step around the row until you fully reach the end of this row and join your your golden fringe with the beginning of the row you can use the needle to help you sew like this and then make golden fringe i make the total of five five fringe you know but you guys can make small it's up to you all right now i have already finished it okay you see i make once every other row okay and then i'm going to swell it from the smaller end to the larger end like this so when you roll it you know when you roll it try to sew the work using the golden thread as well Okay, when you finish, it will look like this. Very beautiful though. It looks a little bit shiny because of the golden fringe. Okay, then we we'll make it the pendant. So don't forget to add the small loop. And also make the necklace. For me, I use uh, six small golden thread. And then make chains using 1.25mm crochet hook. And then after that, after you finish the the necklace using the cross street thread and then 1.25 mm crochet hook you can just add up all other equipment to make the necklace okay like this Okay, add the loop at the end and if you want to extend the necklace, uh, maybe you need to adjust the length of the necklace. I recommend you using the golden loop like this to extend the length of the necklace. Okay, like this. Make the chains of golden loop like this and then just join it into the last loop on the last loop that I saw on the necklace just like this okay and now we have multiple chains you can adjust the length as you want when you want to wear this necklace maybe you want it shorter or sometimes you want it longer okay like this you can adjust it by choosing the loop. This one is a longer one. Like this. Okay. And if you want it shorter, just go on to the first loop. Just like this. Now you get it shorter. Okay, guys. It's done. Okay, guys. Now the shell necklace is done and thank you so much for watching if you like my work make sure you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on instagram as cockpit crochet i'll be sure to update you with a new project okay goodbye see you next time